this episode of Link versus PayStation. We're gonna see if which one will work. It's a replacement, the Link City or the Payphone. Uh, as we have this one right here, there's a Link and a Payphone right on the street on the same block. And we're gonna see which one's gonna work. So I got this one right here. Let's see, will this work? Huh. Looks like it does this time. Last week, it was completely busted. See, it can make it work. Or it's just gonna freeze on me. Alright, that's promising. And nothing. It is busted. Let's see if you're trying to make a call. Uh, yes, please, English. Oh my gosh. And, uh, let's try it again. This time I use a keypad. Something works with a keypad. You don't need a, you don't need a screen to make uh, calls on it. Uh, let's try the keypad. I don't know why it dims like that, but. Alright. One, two, four, eight. Four, three, four, five, five, zero, eight. Yeah, it's not supposed to happen. It's busted. Usually, when you press on the keypad, it immediately takes you to the dialer. Nope. Busted. Alright, okay, I also like to mention before. Locust Brend I don't know how to pronounce it. Great Freedom Bar. I suppose there's a payphone inside there too. But I'm not allowed to enter it since I'm not 21 yet. However, here it is. Right behind this corner of Alice Pizza on Locust. Look at three. There it is. It's, yeah. Right there. Let's uh, wait to cross. And beat up old Verizon enclosures. So I think it's one of the, it's the last city owned payphone. I mean, that's by Pacific Telematic Services. They still have a bunch over with uh, Global Telink. I think at this point, PTS should just like replace one of those uh, blue L30, L31 because this is pretty far busted. And let's check. Dalton. Uh, I'm gonna make a call on this. See you on the next episode.